Are you up for a mix of some of the coolest that the future has to offer? If so, here's 10 futuristic machines you'll wish you owned. Number 10. When you hear the term electric car, do you picture one like this? If not, then it's time to start thinking outside the box. The Trezor was revealed at the 2016 Paris Motor Show. This work of art is composed of a carbon weave bodywork that resembles snake skin. The contrasting red windows and interior add to an aesthetic that lets you know there's more to this than a typical sports car. There are no conventional doors. Instead, one has to raise the roof to access the two-seat cabin. The dashboard itself is a curved OLED display with most of the vehicle's functions maintained via touch screens on the steering wheel. The placement of the two batteries, one in the front and one in the back, helps with weight distribution. The motor puts out 350 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque to take the Trezor from 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 4 seconds. Renault has said this vehicle will remain a concept only. The good news is that they plan to include some of the design elements in future vehicles. One can hope that it still looks this good when they do so. Number 9. Powering up while you're parked is the de facto method for charging electric cars. The downside is that charging stations take time and sometimes aren't free to use. But what if you could charge your car while driving? Qualcomm's Halo conceptualizes what the future of wireless charging may be. The technology is embedded in roadways and parking spots, making it possible to power up without a cable. It uses a high-powered resonant magnetic inductive energy transfer. The energy is delivered over an air gap to two pads located under the vehicle. But unlike other inductive chargers, the units don't need to be touching or even close to one another. In fact, the charging unit's multi-coil design will even charge the vehicle if the pads are misaligned. Qualcomm anticipates wireless electric charging to become standard on most production vehicles in the next two to three years. Considering I won't have to stop for gas, I should start planning my next road trip. Number eight. This energy efficient electric vehicle is called Zabi, but unlike the Honey Zabi, it doesn't make a buzzing noise. Yeah, that was the corniest joke you'll hear, ever. This entry by Swedish company Clean Motion first saw the light in 2010. It's made strictly for short distance transportation, is weather protected, and can carry up to two passengers with luggage. The total weight of 600 pounds makes for a vehicle that is nimble and agile in traffic while the small size allows for a total of up to three in a single parking space. The electric motor can go up to 28 miles per hour. The battery can recharge in 20 minutes using the included rapid charger. Its estimated use is about 4 kilowatt hours of electricity per 62 miles with a total range of about 31 miles. This translates to about 7% of the energy that a normal gas powered car would use. In my opinion, the Zabi is one of many small pieces of the eco-friendly solution the world needs. Number 7. The taxi service industry has been in a not-so-subtle revolution since its beginnings with the horse and buggy, so it was only a matter of time before it left the ground to pursue loftier goals. A German company named Lilium has developed the world's first electric jet that employs a vertical takeoff and landing. They call it, drumroll please, the Lilium Jet. The jet consists of a rigid winged body with 12 flaps carrying three electric jet engines each. Depending on the flight mode, the flaps tilt to allow thrust while the necessary lift is provided by the wings. The expected range is 186 miles with a top speed of 186 miles per hour. Lilium hopes to use its jets to provide faster access when traveling within the city by employing a network of landing pads and central places for passenger transfer. For now, you'll have to keep hailing a cab as the company doesn't expect to go fully operational until 2025. Number 6. The word Shaddai actually translates to the omnipotent. Considering the designer's main concept was extreme power, it seems that the name fits perfectly. This 492 foot long behemoth has been called the most outrageous yacht in the world and it hasn't even been built yet. Unfortunately, no details are really known at this time as the layout will be dependent on the needs of the buyer. But what we do know is that the lower deck will be composed of a 2700 square foot beach club complete with a pool and an aquarium. There's also a starboard terrace that opens out of the side. Above that is the aft main deck with an infinity pool that has a waterfall feeding the pool in the deck below. The master cabin is elevated 125 feet above the water. It has its own terrace with a bar, dining area, and an infinity pool. 
Although it won't be the largest or the most expensive at an estimated $250 million, it will offer the most unique view of the ocean available. Number 5. If you ever wondered how cities like New York, Chicago, and LA were going to handle their traffic problems in the future, it's a safe assumption it would be like this. The Dahir Insok Corporation has designed this futuristic concept of mass public transport in urban settings. It's called the Gyro Monorail and it is exactly what it looks like, a self-balancing dome-shaped cabin on two wheels. It would still have the option of extra wheels if needed as well as being height adjustable. Crowded streets wouldn't be an issue either as the monorail would run on lane separators that would work like tracks for a train. As you can see from the video, the uses could easily apply to more than just public transportation with emergency and medical personnel benefiting as well. Although it's still just a concept and might never see production, it's definitely one of the more clever approaches to the traffic congestion facing some of the world's bigger cities. Number 4. Unity Sweden recently paired with industrial giant Siemens to develop its first electric car. It was designed specifically for the city with high performance and agility in mind. The company claims to have the world's largest and most advanced interactive heads-up display in the windshield. In addition, the designers digitized almost all the interaction points to make the car as intuitive as possible. In keeping with the idea of sustainability, the body is made from a recyclable carbon fiber with an interior created from organic deposits. The car itself will be available in a 2, 4, or 5 seat model. The electric motor provides a top speed of up to 81 miles per hour. The auxiliary battery can be charged in about 10 minutes for a quick 20 mile trip with a main battery that can provide a range of up to 186 miles. Unity plans a delivery date of 2019 with prices ranging from $18,500 to $24,800. Number 3. Every time I see a car like this, I think, it's a sports car, and it's electric. Why did I buy a Prius? But you don't want to hear that story. Instead, we're going to talk about the Quantino 48 volt. This car runs on what is basically salt water. But let me clarify, it's still an all-electric car. The liquid is actually called bi-ion. It's put into a tank like a conventional gasoline, and the car processes it to power the batteries. The motor itself puts out 108 horsepower and 147 pound-feet of torque with a top speed of 122 miles per hour. The car averages about 28 miles per gallon. The tank will hold roughly 50 gallons, so you're looking at a total distance of about 1,400 miles. The manufacturers are guaranteeing at least 50,000 operating hours from the technology. That equates to a theoretical distance of about 1.55 million miles. Yeah, a sports car, all electric millions of miles. Did I mention I bought a Prius? Number 2. I'm sure there's not one of us out there who haven't daydreamed of being able to make ourselves invisible. Apparently, a defense firm in Poland has made that dream a reality with their newest weapon, the PL-01 Stealth Tank. The tank was designed by a company named Obram who develop and manufacture weapon systems for the Polish Armed Forces. And though it's referred to as invisible, it can't actually disappear from sight. The term is used loosely because of its ability to mask itself from infrared and radar detection. The stealth technology comes from special temperature-controlled hexagon-shaped wafers that cover the tank. They allow it to blend in with the infrared signature of the surroundings and can even be manipulated to make the tank look like a smaller vehicle such as a car. The engine exhaust is cooled to lower the infrared signature. The whole thing is also covered with a special material that absorbs radio waves. Mass production is expected sometime in 2018. So what's your favorite going to be? The yacht, the jet, the tank, or one of the cars? Let us know in the comments which one you'd like sitting in front of your house. Number 1. The Mill, a digital effects company in London, has created the world's first fully adjustable car rig that can alter its chassis and match the look of any car. The car is called the Blackbird. It took two years to build and was created in the same hangar as the SR-71 Blackbird. It can be lengthened by up to 4 feet, widened by up to 10 inches, and the wheels and suspension can be changed to match the car it's mimicking. Plus, the electric motor can be programmed to emulate different driving characteristics. It's then outfitted with 360-degree cameras that allow it to be filmed while impersonating a specific car. CGI is then used to provide an overlay to turn it into that vehicle. 
The original reason for creating the car was so advertisers could shoot a car commercial without having to worry about securing the real thing on location or the threat of damage to an exotic vehicle. If you're wondering how possible this actually is, go check out the Mills Gallery of ad shots for major car makers that show just how realistic the Blackbird is. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.